everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today I'm really excited to share this build with y'all because it's actually an apartment building. A tiny apartment building in the world of Mount Komorebi. I had been asked to do an apartment building and also asked separately as a suggestion to build something else in this world because I haven't in a while. So I decided to create this little apartment building of four tiny apartments and I really adore how this came out. So I really hope you will enjoy it as well. If you do and you'd like to download it, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You could also find it under the hashtag Miss Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. And this lot comes out to be 78,800 simoleons as it is for fully furnished tiny homes essentially in an apartment configuration so right now just trying to figure out the general shape it's kind of just like two rectangles stacked on top of each other and one of them is slightly pushed back than the other and i think it looks really cool that way and the the insides were very small they end up having essentially the same layout throughout but i tried to decorate them for different personalities or different interior decoration styles but generally speaking like the kitchen's in the same spot the bathroom's in the same spot and they have a very tiny living space they have to figure out how to incorporate uh, how they're going to both hang out there and also sleep in that space so there is a different way I approach that for each of them but it's very small I think it's two by three <laughs> so and it's right when you walk in the door so it was definitely a bit of a puzzle, which is why we usually here on the channel call Tiny Homes the Squish, if you're unfamiliar with that, uh, because you're trying to squish in as many items and functional areas as possible in a small area. So you're squishing everything in. Uh, so this is definitely one of those. <laughs> it was difficult, but uh, it, it was really cool and I'm happy with how it came out. I did do this build over the course of, I think, a week or so. Uh, because I did like the most of the exterior and then I just didn't come back to the interior for a while. Sometimes I get like that with the builds. I get overwhelmed. I'm like, I just did this whole exterior. It took me forever to figure out. I can't even imagine starting the interior. And for some reason, that was the case on this build, probably because it wasn't just decorating one home. It was essentially decorating four. Uh, so it did take me a little while to come back to you, but I'm glad that I finally did and I didn't scrap this build like a lot of builds that I tend to uh, scrap if I do step away like that. Nine times out of ten, I'm not going to come back to it, uh, but I was very, very happy that I did with this one. Anyway, I'm working on some of the landscaping now. I wanted it to be like very structured and have like garden beds in the front. This area of Mount Komorebi is very like concrete and there's not like a lot of greenery on the particular lots. There is behind this area, but it looks like this area is supposed to be on like paved space, if that makes sense. So I wanted to make sure that I did that and made it blend in as much as possible to the surrounding area. And I think I did. I think I did a pretty good job. I don't build in this world that often. I'm not really sure why because Mount Komorebi is beautiful. <laughs> so let me know if there's any other builds you would like to see here. And if so, like what sort of thing. I could definitely do some family homes. I think that could be fun because this was more so, with the exception of one of them, just single sim households. One of these for I do have a bunk bed in, but the other ones are all meant for one or two sims. So, well, I guess that one is two sims. One of them also has a Murphy bed. So, if you scooch, you could have two sims because uh, your sims should be able to like move over in bed. Uh, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. And I feel like we go back and forth all the time between is that working in game now? No. OK. OK. Now they patched it. All right. Perfect. That works. And then it stops working again. So hopefully that works currently. If not, that apartment would just be for one sim. Anyway, right here, I'm just getting some of these like chains and stuff so cars can't get too close to the front of the build of course we don't really have cars in the game but i did add a debug one here uh parked under that little carport space i created and then we have a little fenced in backyard which i will be decorating after i decorate the interior of the build uh and then just moving the trash cans and stuff around and then i decided to use some of these debug like grass patches to create a little bit more of a area in the front to have some more landscaping that felt more structured but 
added some more interest to the space because it's got a more interesting shape than just the boxes that I had with those shrubs, which I did keep. I think both of them together look nice and it was able to add some flowers in here as well as some trees and the landscaping that came with Show Live at Objects with Mount Komorovi is just so pretty so I was excited to use that here. I do think I'll probably build more in this world as we approach winter in the northern hemisphere because you know a huge portion of this world is in the mountains and it's always snowy and I tend to for the most part do builds that are directly correlated with the seasons I'm experiencing in real life so There'll probably be some more builds in that area a little bit later in the year, but I do want to build here some more just because I feel like it's a world I don't build in that often. So like I had mentioned before, any ideas, do let me know. I would love to hear them. Anyway, working on the layout now of the first apartment, uh, trying to figure out how to fit a kitchen in here, and it ends up being a lot smaller than this. I was just experimenting, trying to figure out how to fit it, and then we essentially have the same layout of the kitchen in all of the apartments, but... Uh, I needed to figure out what that was going to be first, and this is what it is. It's just like a little L shape. I only end up having the corner counter, and then the stove is right there. Uh, the corner counter, your sims are able to prep food there. I sometimes get comments saying there's nowhere for them to use counters. Your sims are fully capable of using that space to like cut up things and prep any kind of meals that they need to cook. I have play tested these builds, and they are fully functional. Uh, just make sure when you are placing this down from the gallery, you use the move objects cheat to make sure everything places properly and you don't have any errors with your Sims routing around it. Uh, but yeah, so for this first apartment, I really wanted to play around with some colors. So I have the yellow countertops in the kitchen from Jungle Adventure. They also matched really well with these little cubby modular pieces that we got from high school year. So I put those up above the stove. And this whole apartment is like very plancy. I decided to do that because I had originally placed a bunch of plants outside of this particular apartment. Uh, so I wanted there to be a lot of greenery in here. And I also played around with like some earthy tones as well. Uh, and of course I used a lot of the wallpapers that came with Snowy Escape. So you'll see me adding those in here as well. I was thinking the sim was into plants and reading. And so that was the whole concept behind this particular apartment. Uh, I did add a bed combined in with that love seat from high school years, that little boho inspired one. I thought it was really pretty. And that way I was able to achieve a couple of different layouts for the living room slash bedroom space in all of these. So this one just has like a couch and a bed combined. And then the area in the middle is like a table and a desk space. So I should be adding a laptop there. We also have lots of plants and I put chairs on one side by the stove and then one in the front to act as a desk space. Your sims can walk by this. I wasn't sure if they were gonna be able to, so I made sure to check that out and they walked by it with no problem. I was really happy about that. And I love these chairs from high school years, the floral print on them I thought was perfect for this apartment. Just that little fun pop of color and pattern in the space, I thought was really nice. And just moving around the plants, trying to get them in better positions. I'm very picky about that kind of stuff for some reason. I also wanted to add these little pieces. There's some so, there's so, such beautiful plants that came with the Blooming Rooms kit. So I really enjoy using those. And then I decided to put a calendar over here by the front door and I moved the trash can over there as well. And I made sure to include a TV in all of these homes. I know not every build needs a TV. And I get that comment a lot that like maybe you wouldn't have put a TV in a space, but I think it's nice to have a spot for one because your Sims get a lot of fun from watching TV. And it's an easy thing to delete. But I feel like it's a hard thing to find space for if you didn't make an area for it, if that makes sense. Uh, so I, I like to include them and they're always an easy thing to remove if you don't want them. Uh, but I put this little shelving unit up above the bed and couch area and I'm just filling it with plants. I changed my mind a couple of different times about what plants I wanted to put there. I will be adding some other ones later, but over here I'm just adding a mirror. I'm pretty sure I added that mirror in the same spot in all of the apartments. It's a very small space, so you only have so many options on where things would go, uh, but I think it worked out nicely there, so you have like a full-length mirror, and then I'm just decorating the kitchen a little bit more. I got one cutting board and a couple of utensils over here under this little cabinet piece, and I think that's it for that kitchen. There's not a whole lot of space, and then just adding this little rug over here as well, also from high school years. That it was really pretty and filling up these shelves with some more plants. I wanted some pops of color, but I wasn't really sure which ones. Uh, and I ended up going for some more yellow because of the countertops that we have in this particular apartment, which are just so pretty. 
I really liked that and of course using some more of these plants from the little planters kit or not little planters I'm letting thinking of little campers kits and blooming rooms <laughs> and I said little planters that's cute though I think that would have worked for that particular kit as well anyway this is the bathroom. It's a three by one. It's like my standard tiny house bathroom. And I didn't think I was going to go for this in these apartments. But when I got inside and saw just how small they were, it became very apparent that this was the size I was going to have to go for for these uh, particular bathrooms because th there was no other way to really make it fit and have like a nice floor plan. So just quickly grabbing those and then duplicating them and placing them upstairs and I add like the kitchens and stuff without decorating them but just the basics uh, mostly off camera I start doing this one downstairs right next to it uh, but the rest of them I should be doing off camera and then I change the colors and like customize them and decorate them uh, in this video for you to see but I didn't think I needed to include just copying and pasting counters uh, but I tried to just put different swatches of that particular counter set and let that inspire the personality or the color scheme or what have you of that particular build. And there were a lot of things that I just changed and tried a couple of different options to figure out how I wanted the apartments to work out. So this one in particular, I knew I wanted to use bunk beds. So I kept uh, placing down different ones. I changed the swatches a couple of times, put down these curtains, and I was like, hmm, maybe I should change the color of the bed. Uh, so I ended up doing that and it's like this light pink swatch instead. So I did really use that uh, as inspiration for the rest of the decoration in here. So this one ends up being a little bit more like light and youthful. It's got some light pinks in it and I think it's really pretty. I do also add a TV over here over the dining space in this particular uh, apartment and getting a little plant over here, like a little cherry blossom tree, some books, a quirk board. I love this table. It's from Get Famous. It's a mid-century table and it's definitely one of my favorite dining tables in the game. I feel like I haven't used it that much lately, but it's so stunning. <laughs> so I was happy to use it here. And then I ended up using one of these rugs from the Decor to the Max kit. I tend to just call it the Maximalist kit, but I really like that swatch and I haven't used that rug that much because a lot of the swatches are just very bold. Uh, I mean, it is a Maximalist kit, so it makes sense. And I do really like that kit. I, I feel like it would be fun to do another like maximalist apartment or tiny house or full on house at some point. Oh my gosh, imagine how fun and bold an entire like large house would be in that style. I might, I might have to do that sometime soon. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're decorating the kitchen in this apartment right now. I decided to get some coffee and some plants and, you know, just getting a couple of decorations in the kitchen, getting another little rug. I like to have a mat to stand on while you're doing dishes. And that's pretty much it for that one. Now we're heading on upstairs. This one I had to put darker cabinets. Uh, so we're taking that as inspiration. And this is the one that actually I end up using the Murphy bed, which I wasn't sure if it was going to work once again because it blocks the door. And would you be able to get in and out? Would you be able to put it down? All of that. Even when the bed is down, your Sims still can go through the door. It clips a tiny bit, but it didn't bother me that much. And I was just surprised they could do that. I thought they were gonna have to put the bed up in order to leave, but they don't. So <laughs> I was really impressed with that. Uh, so this one's just like black and brown, mostly. Uh, the decor in here, I think is pretty simple. We have some plants, which I think look quite cute. Uh, I love that table and chairs as well that I used in here, which is from Tiny Living the Table. The chairs are from high school years. And then I decided to combine this decal of a bunch of records with this mirror that it looks really pretty. I'm using a lot of high school years in this particular apartment and actually a lot in this build in general, including that decal I put on the wall of the like angel and devil cats. I just thought it was really cute and uh, just getting a fire alarm and temperature controls. And I also wanted to do some sort of decoration in the bathroom. Uh, they're all pretty much the same. They just have different color tiles and stuff to kind of go with the particular color scheme I had in each of the apartments. So I end up adding like a painting and or a bathrobe to each of them to try and just make it a little bit different. But this is the final bedroom, uh, the final apartment. And at first I was thinking I was going to go like orange and purple based on this bed, but I quickly decided that was too much. This one ends up being a very neutral apartment. And I know right now that is not what it looks like at all, but I was thinking this particular sim uh, doesn't spend a lot of time here because they like to travel. I was thinking they were a world traveler. Maybe they're exploring the jungle of Salvadorada, all of that sort of stuff. 
So they have a pretty simple home base for when they are home. And so <laughs> we will be getting to that shortly. I just know right now it's look, it's looking very bright and colorful. And uh, that's just the reality of building. Sometimes you have one idea and you change your mind halfway through or just something else works better. And that was definitely the case here. So placing down some rugs and changing my mind. I'm like, ooh, beige. I like beige. <laughs> so uh, that is what that ends up looking like. I think it looks a lot better. Honestly, we got some of these signs from the mountaintops and uh, I just got a couple of decorations around. Nothing too busy. I believe we might add some aprons by the kitchen. We have some paintings, a nice mirror, a little plant over here. It's just very simple. I didn't want it to feel super cluttered because I don't think they're here that often, but I thought it would be kind of nice to have a couple of like things they might have gotten over their travels, mostly those signs on the wall and that painting. Maybe there are little cacti as well. Uh, but I thought it was a pretty cute, simple home base and uh, I really enjoyed it. I just think it's really funny how much that particular apartment changed. Anyway, we are now in the backyard figuring out what I want to include back here. We end up having a table and chairs, which is just a picnic bench and a barbecue, lots of greenery as well. I actually finished the backyard and then decided it was not full enough with landscaping. So I went back and added more. So you'll see that now. But we are about to head on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I would love to have you join us. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications to be notified of every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so very much for watching. Enjoy the screenshots and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everyone.